Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I really appreciate you stopping by and giving me a chance. I'm prepping my faith. And today we're going to be talking about purging as a prepper. Now this is a topic that I don't really hear discussed much in the prepping community, if ever. And I think it's something that we need to investigate. So what got me thinking about this is the possibility of a move in my family's near future. So I've been thinking about what we would bring, what does it make sense to bring, either because it's so old and it's outlived its usefulness, it hasn't been used much anyhow, or it just can't be taken with us for whatever reason. What I ultimately decided to do was to begin spending some time in each room going through every drawer, every cabinet, every closet, and being honest with myself about what I could let go of. Whether you are planning on a move anytime in your near future or not, this is something that I believe can really help you in your prepping journey. I know many of us hold on to so much because we live in a hyper awareness that the supply chain could really crumble overnight and we may not be able to get that item in question again or it could become so expensive in the future that we wouldn't be able to replace it if we needed to. But I think it's really important that we find a healthy balance of holding on to things that truly have value versus letting go of items that really no longer serve a purpose in our lives. We can't hang on to everything with the thought that we may need it at a later date because if we do that pretty soon, there's going to be no longer any room for living and our homes will become a prison of things. So holding on to every cardboard box, every empty container, or every old piece of clothing that we outgrew in our teens or early 20s doesn't really make sense, right? We can come to a place where we are no longer preparing and being wise, and we are allowing elements of fear to control our actions. We have to exercise wisdom in every situation we are presented with. Now, please don't twist my words and start saying that prepping by faith is saying that we should get rid of every, everything we own, get rid of all of our stuff. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is let's have a real conversation about what items are actually useful and which items are just taking up space and are cluttering our lives. So I am by no means a minimalist. If someone wants to live like that, more power to them. But I do like things clean and orderly and organized, you know, and that is something that has become a lot more challenging since um, I've acquired more preps and started shoving them into rooms that were not traditionally meant to store uh, vast quantities of food products and hygiene products and prepping gear. And I think many of you can probably identify with that. So how did I figure out what items were just clogging up my life and needed to go? And one of the things I discovered is that in my bathroom, I had many half used containers of products that I had collected throughout the years and I could not bear to let go of them even though I wasn't really using them any longer. So I immediately rounded these type of products up and they either went into the trash or they got recycled and anything that was brand new was set aside to either donate or to pass on to another family member that might be interested in that product. I then began to really take a deep dive in my dresser and in my closet and decide what I was actually wearing and what I wasn't. And it was time to let go of more clothing items. Again, any of these items that I wasn't using any longer could be donated if they were in great shape. And someone somewhere is going to be glad to have them. Some of them were things that I had just had for a very long time and it was time to let go of them. Others were much smaller sizes that I've hung on to with the hopes of passing them down to my daughters. Um, but let's face it, I'm never going to be a size two again. And the likelihood of my girls really wanting anything that mom wore is slim to none. I have more work to do in there, but I have at least begun the process of purging my closet. I set aside a weekend with my daughters and we kind of did the same thing in their rooms. I let them pull out all of the items that they were no longer playing with or using and we stuffed them into bags to be donated. We went through their dressers and closets and found things that my oldest can pass down to my youngest and other things that my youngest has outgrown that could then go out to the donations as well. You know, some of these items that I found were actually brand new or nearly new, and those were set aside to be sold in an upcoming um, community garage sale that we are going to be having here in my area. Anything I found like this that I thought would get us a few extra bucks, I put aside into that pile. My thoughts that were that if I could 
didn't sell those items, then they could be donated. But if my family can get some money out of that and we can use that towards other things that we may need, then it makes the most sense, right? So all in all, I was able to collect over seven large black trash bags filled with items that can go to other homes, all useful items, but items that are no longer serving a purpose in my home. These are things that I'm confident are in great condition and will help out other families, but they are not things that we need cluttering up our house. I think it's time that we are honest with ourselves about what we are using and what we are not. And I want to encourage you guys to begin to do the same thing. Don't hang on to items just because you may need them one day. Be honest about what you are using and what is more critical to your survival vice what is just a distant memory that you have or an attachment to an item based on what might take place. Whether you realize it or not, holding on to many things and having constant clutter in your life um, can really begin to affect you mentally. It can bring on depression, foggy thinking, and cause less creativity. We need to feel positive about the space that we spend the most time in. We need to find joy and stability in our homes, and we need to feel confident in our space. Sometimes we have to let go of some of the things that we've been holding on to that we no longer truly need in order to grab on to the things that God has waiting for us. That's another word for a Another day, but I want you guys to always stay balanced in prepping and in your lives. If you've enjoyed this video today, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.